Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be talking about things that are hard to find out here in Mexico. Now, you guys have heard me talk before many times that um, things are not necessarily that hard to find out here, which is true. You know, you can find uh, pretty much anything you want or need out here. But, you know, there are a few things that are a little hard to get and in some cases um, kind of a pain in the ass that they don't have them out here so the reason I, I decided to make today's video was because I'm actually going to the store right now to see if I can find some shoes because I need some shoes and um, I've been wearing the same pair of shoes for God knows how long already because um, I keep forgetting Every time I go back, you know, to the States or anything like that to get um, new shoes. And then every time I'm out here, I realize they don't have my size. They just literally don't have my size. Now, I don't know if it's a problem of just being out here in Merida, where everyone's just so small and tiny that I'm a ginormous gigantor, gigantosaur. But um, it is a problem, though. I mean, I know I am a gigantic gigantosaur. But um, still, I mean, I don't think my shoes, my feet are that big. You know, I wear a size 12. Um, but yeah, out here, that's uh, apparently it's not a shoe size that people have out here. So, um, in fact, I think the, the shoe size out here stops like around 10. So maybe like around 10 in men's is already like the biggest that they have so i wear like a 12 sometimes 13 and um you know it wasn't really ever much of a problem back in the states and it is here but i found this one store right, right by walmart that has uh pretty cheap shoes and not just cheap shoes but um but i think they have a few of my size so i was gonna go and check them out and see see what they got and uh Maybe I can get a pair of shoes because I need them, man. Because I fucking walk a lot, obviously, as you guys can fucking see. Right. So, um, we're going to do that. Also, I'm taking a different route to get to, to, the, to that area. Because I want to go to um, this store that sells natural products, like a organic store. By the way, it's fucking noon. So there's not gonna be many shadows, if any. I'm just right under the sun. I'm gonna be cooking today, right in front of your eyes. So um, it's gonna be a slow cooked Jose day. So, by the way, there's a bar up ahead. I'm about to, you see right there? All right, so I was gonna give you my angle, but it's it's a gay bar. Me and my friend almost came in here once, and then when I was walking with my girl the other day, she's like, "Oh, this is a gay bar," and I'm like, "Oh shit!" And look at all the rainbow colors. I'm like, "Fuck!" It's called the bullpen. So yeah, anyways, that would have been funny. That would have been like, uh, you remember Police Academy when they go inside the 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 Blue Oyster? That would have been it right there. That's the blue oyster. That's the local. See, they even got the blue oyster out here. So, yeah, they even got gay bars. So, anyways, but we're talking about things they don't have. Things they don't have. So, shoes is another thing. Shoes is, I mean, shoes is one thing. Another thing is um, they don't have, uh, you know, we've come accustomed to living in the States. You know, um, just because we're trying to get away from chemicals and get away from poison and get away from a bunch of crap. We have uh, all of a sudden... Uh, you know, there's a big, a big, uh, there's a big market for you know organic products, real products, you know products that are, um, you know, are locally sourced. You know, you know all that stuff. You know the whole movement. So out here, even though it is picking up and they have it, it's not as prominent because a lot of stuff already out here is pretty organic and 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 all that stuff. So that's why it's like a little hard sometimes to get certain things that I want from back home, like certain supplements. Or certain things like that so right now I'm trying to think of run over as always I gotta stop saying that. I'm gonna put that I'm putting that shit out in the universe too much and I might get runned over one of these fucking days so I gotta stop saying that shit 
So right now, uh, look, it's a chicken truck. Only chickens drive and chickens are, it's a chicken bus. I mean, only it's a bus of chickens. But anyway, so that's uh, one of the things where it's a little lacking out here is some of those like uh, fresh organic products. And I know they exist. I know they're out there. But, you know, one thing is that, you know, living in the States, like, you know, we're used to having more organic stuff or more whole foods or more, you know, places like that. But out here, they're a little less in farm between. Here, check this out. It's awesome. She's making me hungry. I gotta get some food here soon. I gotta get some food there and try it out. Give you guys a review. See, people just park on the side of the street. See, that's another thing too. You see how people just park like that? That's totally allowed. That's totally, you know, whatever. You know, you can do that. Sometimes the people are, when they stop like that, um, on, the, on like literally, you know, they'll stop in the middle of the road. It's, uh, you know, it's not just to unload people, but sometimes they're unloading a whole fucking clown car full of shit. You know what? I got to cross the street. Um, I got to cross the street. I'm trying to see if it's going to be shadier over there or over here. Yeah, I'll just stay here. I'll figure it out. So... That's another thing that's a little difficult to find out here is certain supplements, certain uh, natural products, certain organic products. But the thing is that, you know, out here, there's still a mail system. There's still FedEx. There's still all that shit. So, you know, ideally, you know, one could just get everything online, especially if you know your purveyor, know if you're looking for specific products and specific things can definitely find them and have them delivered um that's so so that there's that so the thing is that everything is available you can get anything and everything out here really not a problem the thing is that sometimes you might be waiting a little longer if it's not available right at the moment it might take you a little longer in order for you to get it which is which is totally fine it's totally fine because you start realizing eventually you don't need so much shit and if you don't and if you can wait a certain amount of time a lot of times you're like you know what maybe i just don't need it at all and i can make do with something else um so that you know that's that's a real huge positive but sometimes it is a little bit of a pain in the ass because i'll need like um for example like some camera equipment or a special cable or a special you know um uh you know type of product you know for one of my special um camera equipment or what have you anyways that like you know when you want like really specific things like that the one thing about living in the states especially living in bigger cities is that you can fucking find anything and everything all the time so i can literally walk into any camera store any camera shop if for whatever fucking reason they can't find it they can they'll find it for me and that kind of stuff so it, not just with camera equipment but electronic equipment um a lot of things there's a lot of freaking things like that and that doesn't exist out here again sure you can get anything literally no problem but it's not the same it's not the same as in the u.s where you could just go to certain certain places and just get whatever you want, whatever you need, at any at any moment's notice. So, that but that that's that's a, to me that's like a positive because, in a weird way, when you have something like that, where you make it extremely difficult to you know when when you live in an environment like that. Sorry, just trying to cross the street. Look at all these cars. So, just trying to hurry up. But when you live in an environment like uh, like this, it's it's really cool because at the same time it's like, sure, every street corner isn't filled, you know, with fucking Best Buys or camera stores or you know like a bunch of bullshit that you really, sure it's convenient to have. But when you live in a place that doesn't have that every everywhere, um, then all of a sudden like you you realize where you are. You know, it's kind of like uh, it's hard to explain, but. Sorry, we're just trying to do two things at once here. Oh yeah, I found the place. So look, this is the organic place, right? We're gonna go and hang out and check it out real quick. But 
you know, the, the one positive about this, here, let me give you a better view this way, right? All right. So the one positive thing about that is, is the fact that since you don't have all that available and everywhere, that all of a sudden, you know, um, more space is opened up for other things, you know, just like, you know, like taco stores or a flower shop or, you know, like a bunch of other little things. And, it's, and at the same time, you know, um, it allows so much, so much more entre entrepreneurship and so much more capitalism to really go on on a more of a street base level. So, you know, that's that. So now we're gonna go in here real quick. I'm gonna see how much I can record. I'm gonna record just a little bit and then um, see if I can find what I can find and uh, I'll see you in a few minutes, all right? Um, quería hacer una pregunta. Ustedes venden aquí productos de orgánico, like, como pastillas y suplementos y cosas así, ¿o no? Ah, sí. Sí. Hay que Hey guys, well, I'm just leaving the store right now, um, the vegan store, the organic store, and it actually turned out to be pretty awesome. I was in there for like an hour, um, and I was talking to the guy about all kinds of stuff, and uh, he told me places where I can go and get uh, shoes and all kinds of really cool stuff. And now, uh, when I was going into my pocket for my wallet to see if I can uh, give him one of my cards. I realized that I have my wallet with me and I'm like, fuck, did I leave my wallet at home? So now I gotta go all the way home and uh, hope to God that my wallet is there. And we should be all right. Let me see if we can cross this real quick. So, yeah, so that, that was pretty interesting. Um, I, I think I shot the store. Um, we were talking about all kinds of stuff. Another thing that they don't have out here. So let's continue with the theme of things that they don't have out here in Mexico. Or in Merida, anyways. Look at this awesome store. Selling all kinds of cool stuff. So anyways. I'm on my way home. I'm pretty sure I just left my fucking wallet at home. I'm hoping to God, you know. I have nothing left to really lose, you know, anymore. Just uh, some cash I had in there. So let's all hope for the best. All right, so, you know, another thing that uh, we don't have any of out here is, uh, what was it, like a lot of uh, social media presence and a lot of, um, you know, literally what I'm doing right now. So, that's another thing that they don't have out here, but in my case, I'm the one that's making and producing this stuff, so it actually um, helps me out and it, uh, it's, in, it's in my favor. Because I, since uh, there's a, a lack of that product or this situation out here, I get to take full advantage of that and sell my services. Um, not only, I mean, not just for a premium, but literally sell my services as to where before my services in other places, I would have a lot more competition. And by having so much more competition, um, uh, you know, I, I have to charge less and uh, there's also less chance of me getting work out here. Sure, I got to do a little more sales work, you know, meaning that I got to sell more people on the idea. But in, in a lot of cases, I don't got to sell anybody on, on the idea. They all know exactly that they want my video and photography services, but they just don't have anyone to hire worth the damn. So that's for me, you know, that works in my favor. Um, but yeah, like, you know, again, nothing is perfect. Um, you can find a lot out here, you know what I mean? Like, uh, but again, uh, let's just keep staying on topic here as to things that you cannot find. So, going back to that store, I couldn't find anything I wanted in there that I needed. Um, it was a lot of vegan stuff. And uh, I'm not looking for vegan stuff. And I was asking him, hey, do you know of any other places 
where I can get this stuff or buy it or whatever. And uh, he really didn't have any any clue as to where. I mean, pretty much everywhere he was telling me to buy organic stuff and vegan stuff and all that shit were places that I already knew of and were helping me. But he did help me uh, with the shoe situation. And he, he did tell me that he wears the same size shoe as me and that that is a problem out here. It's a major problem. And um, But he told me of a few places where I can go and check that out. So it's all about networking. It's all about getting outside of that comfort zone, getting outside the box and uh, going and do some, some work. Um, I got a new subscriber, you know, they, they, you know, were watching all my stuff, watching my videos, they loved it, um, and, and, and it's just pretty awesome, it's pretty, it's pretty great to be, to do, to do this kind of stuff, you know, um, and that it inspires other people to want to do the same, or something similar, or do anything, period, you know, because again, sometimes I inspire people to just do whatever it is they want to do, it doesn't necessarily have to be, um, what I'm doing, but just uh, it could be anything else. So, but anyways, again, back to the topic of things that are hard to find out here. Other things that are hard to find out here are chemicals, believe it or not. Now, let me be a little more specific in what I mean by chemicals. You can definitely find chemicals out here. In fact, you can find any chemical you want out here. The thing is that the chemicals out here <laughs> the thing is that the chemicals out here are you got to buy them yourself in the US and in Europe and in other places but mainly in the US this is like a US problem here what they do in the US is they, they just force feed you the fucking chemicals they they either you know chemtrail them on you or they put them in the food they put hormones in the food um, they do all kinds of shit like that so that's what they do in the U.S. They um, they give you the chemicals for free, and um, you know they put fluoride fluoride in the water, you know all that all that stuff. Again, as opposed to out here, where you gotta you gotta get your own chemicals on every front. So when you when you buy food out here, um, when you buy food out here, period, you know just regular food, it's not there's not full of chemicals meaning that it doesn't have uh you know the, the the chicken isn't full of hormones uh neither is the pig or the 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 fucking cow um you know the fruits and the vegetables are grown pretty organic um and so on and so forth so right off the bat things are again just going staying on the the whole organic uh situation oh they're cleaning yeah look again by the blue oyster the blue oyster All right, so you can catch me here um, Tuesdays and Wednesday nights, okay? I perform as Madame Josefina. So, um, you know, just thing with the whole organic situation thing, again, it's like uh, the reason it hasn't really picked up here as it has in other places is because, you know, things are pretty much organic here already, and they have been. And so that's a major plus that, you know, pretty much everything that you put into your body out here is going to be good for you. Now, of course, with the exception of fucking Twinkies and the exception of uh, of um, tequila and shit like that, but for the most part, um, it's gonna be really good for you. And uh, even when you, you you buy Oreos or buy um, you know bullshit like that, um, it, it's basically you know just just the stuff that we already know and love that's gonna get us nice and fat. No added extra chemicals and added additives that are just gonna fuck you up even more. So, that is a major plus to all that. Um, so again, you know, um, there's no chemicals, no poison, no no bullshit like that that you did not ask for or want so that's like a major plus um what else what else also no allergies less allergies i myself i 
have zero allergies now. Well, I mean, I have zero allergies. I still have allergies. I've always had like tons and tons of allergies. But ever since, ever since I've been living out here in Mexico, I have uh, very little allergies, if any at all. I don't have to take allergy medicine anymore. I don't have to deal with my allergies. It's, it's, it's like a normal thing. And yeah, of course, I do think it has to do with, uh, you know, the chemtrails and uh, the shit that I used to eat and a bunch of other shit because, you know, the environment I'm living in right now is very similar to the one I grew up in where I had a lot of allergies. But there's a lot of uh, differences. You know, again, just when it comes to like at least the very least of food and that kind of stuff in which uh, it's no bueno. So that's one million percent sure. It's a lot of uh, a lot of differences. You know, a lot of the things out here that you don't want is actually good. You don't want them, you know. So, I mean, a lot of things that you don't get or cannot get out here is actually really good. And it's a plus that you can't get certain things out here. Again, just, you know, just going to like the chemical thing and... Uh, and the aspect of uh, this stuff that's no bueno for you. Um, sure, it's hard to get electronics. Sure, it's hard to get shoes. Sure, it's hard to get a few little things here and there. But for the most part, it's not life or death type of stuff. If I if I need it, I'm, I'm out here where I can get somebody to make my shoes. I'm just trying to avoid that. And, and so on and so forth, you know. I definitely found a lot of people that can make me shoes. But I'm again, I'm really trying to avoid that. I'm trying to see if I can just buy some some tennis shoes, regular tennis shoes. You know? Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here with me today on my little crazy adventure. I really appreciate you guys more than you could ever imagine. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please hit that bell icon. Please stay tuned every day here for more content. Um, and more importantly than anything else, please don't forget to stay awesome, all right? I love you guys. You guys are the best, all right? And uh, that's it. I'm out of here. Peace out. See you guys manana. Hey, guys. Just wanted to do a quick update, okay? Um, I'm home. And yes, I left my wallet at home. Thank God. So wallet's still here. So I'm going to take this opportunity to do the word of the day. So today's word of the day is wallet. Oh, wait a minute. Today's word of the day is monedero or cadera. This is how you say wallet in Spanish. Monedero o cadera. So, Jose dejó la cadera en la casa. O, o Jose dejó el monedero en la casa. So, literally what I just said there is that Jose left his wallet at home. So, that's the word of the day. Thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.